This is All India Radio. Good afternoon. I am Anuja Kumar and with me is Anita Anand with the Midday News. The headlines. Doubling rate of COVID-19 cases improves to 10.9 days in the last 3 days. Recovering rate in the country improves to 23.3%. India to produce indigenous rapid testing kits by end of May. Over 400 lifeline Uran flights deliver essential and medical supplies across the country. Midday meals to be provided to students during summer vacations in the wake of situation arising out of COVID-19. Gujarat shifts around 5000 stranded migrant workers to their native states of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. Tripura develops mobile COVID-19 sample collection kiosk to collect samples without physical contact. And renowned actor Irfan Khan passes away battling a rare form of cancer. The number of COVID-19 cases in the country has gone up to 31,332 while the death toll rose to 1,007. Health Ministry data said the number of active COVID-19 cases stood at 22,629. As many as 7,695 people have been cured and discharged and one had migrated. The health ministry has said that the recovery rate of COVID-19 in India has improved to 23.3%. Briefing media in New Delhi yesterday the official said no new cases of covid-19 were reported from 17 districts in the last 28 days he said who data shows that the combined population of 20 nations where maximum covid-19 cases have been found is almost the same as india's population and these nations have together reported 84 times the number of cases reported in india डब्ल्यूएचओ का डेटा देखें तो हम पाते हैं कि अगर हम उन 20 देशों में आए हुए कंफर्म केसेस की संख्या लें और अपने देश के कंफर्म केसेस की संख्या लें तो हम पाते हैं कि इंडिया में उन देशों के मुकाबले 1 बाय एट्टी यानी कि उन देशों में इंडिया में जितने केसेस रिपोर्ट हुए उससे चौरासी गुना ज्यादा केसेज रिपोर्ट हुए हैं इसी तरह से अगर हम डेथ की संख्या भी देखें तो हम पाते हैं कि इन बीस देशों में जितनी डेथ रिपोर्ट हुई है उससे इंडिया में वन बाय टाइम्स यानी की उन देशों में इंडिया में जितनी डेथ रिपोर्ट हुई है उससे दो गुना डेथ ज्यादा रिपोर्ट हुई है यू तो ये हम सब को पता है कि हमारे लिए देश के लिए हर के हर डेथ दुखद है लेकिन फिर भी अगर हम दूसरे देशों के कंपैरिजन में कुछ अच्छा कर पा रहे हैं तो उसके पीछे मुख्य एफर्ट देश के लेवल पर की गई प्रोएक्टिव प्रीएम्प्टिव और ग्रेडेड अप्रोच है द ऑफिशियल सेड करेंटली देर आर नो अप्रूव थेरेपीज इंक्लूडिंग प्लाज्मा थेरेपी फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन ICMR has already stated very clearly that currently there are no approved therapies for COVID-19, including plasma therapy. I will also tell you that there is no approved therapy for COVID-19. Ke liye aaj desh mein kya dunia bhar mein bhi koi approved therapy nahi hai. And plasma therapy is one of the therapies which is being experimented with. However, so far there is no evidence to support it as a treatment. This is also in the experimental stage. There is no evidence that it can be used in the treatment of treatment. Union Health Minister Harshvardhan has said that India will produce indigenous rapid testing kits for COVID-19 by end of May. He called upon scientists to expedite the development in COVID-19 mitigation solutions. He said at least half a dozen vaccines are being supported of which four are in an advanced stage. May ke mahine mein hum desh ko अपने भारत में ही वैज्ञानिकों की सहायता से रिसर्च करके और आरटीपीसीआर की किट और इसी प्रकार से एंटीबॉडी टेस्ट की किट ये दोनों चीजें जो है हम भारत के अंदर प्रोडक्शन जो है करके और भारत की रिक्वायरमेंट्स को पूरा करने में काफी हद तक मई के महीने में सक्षम होंगे सब चीजें एडवांस स्टेज में है बहुत जल्दी आईसीएमआर की क्लियरेंस हो, होते ही विद इन ए वीक वो सब चीजें प्रोडक्शन स्टेज में चली जाएंगी हमारा टारगेट है कि इकतीस मई तक हम एक लाख टेस्ट देश में करना चाहते हैं हर रोज सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी रेनू स्वरूप इन्फॉर्म द मिनिस्टर अबाउट अ मल्टी प्रॉन्ग रिसर्च स्ट्रैटेजी एंड एन एक्शन प्लान फॉर एन इमीडिएट रिस्पॉन्स एज वेल एज फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म प्रिपेयरनेस टू टैकल द पैंडमिक दीज एफर्ट्स इंक्लूड रिसर्च टूवर्ड्स डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ वैक्सीन थेरापियोटिक्स एंड सुटेबल एनिमल मॉडल्स फॉर कोविड नाइन्टीन एज वेल एज द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ इंडिजिनस डायग्नोस्टिक्स 
Union Health Minister Dr. Harshvardhan has said that the country is progressively moving towards better overall situation day by day as the doubling rate of COVID-19 stands at 10.9 days over the last three days. He said, however, it is 10.2 over the last seven days and 8.7 over the last 14 days. Dr. Vardhan said this while reviewing the current status of COVID surveillance with Delhi Lieutenant Governor and other officers from Central Government and Delhi Government in a meeting conducted through video conferencing yesterday. Indicating the situation across the country with respect to infection spread by COVID-19, Dr. Harshvardhan said all across the country there are 307 districts in green zone, 297 in orange and 128 in red zone. He said these are very dynamic numbers and keep changing on daily basis and there is a need to check it and bring more and more districts under green zones as soon as possible. While talking about the assessment and classification of movement of districts from red zone to orange and further green zone, Dr. Vardhan said, in fact, there are 76 districts where there is no fresh case from the last seven days and 45 districts where there is no fresh case for the last 14 days. He said while 39 districts are those where there is no fresh case for the last 21 days and 17 are those where there is no fresh case for the last 28 days, which is a sign of improvement. There is a doubling rate which is a very significant and uh, powerful indicator of how the things are happening. So pre-lockdown, you know our uh, doubling rate of cases was around 3 days. For the last 14 days, our doubling rate had been 8.7 and for the last 7 days it had been 10.2 and today for the last 3 days when we calculate it is uh, roughly 10.9. Government has decided to provide midday meals to students even during the summer vacations. About 11 crore children will benefit from the move. It has also announced around 11% increase in annual central allocation of cooking cost under midday meal scheme to 8,100 crore rupees in view of COVID-19. Human Resource Development Minister Ramesh Pokhral Nishank announced this while interacting with education ministers and education secretaries of all states through video conference in New Delhi. Considering the health of the students during the lockdown, ration is being provided under midday meal for the children to provide adequate and nutritious food. The midday meal scheme is a centrally sponsored scheme aimed at increasing enrollment, retention and attendance of students in the schools. The scheme covers more than 12 crore children studying in over 11 lakh schools across the country. The cooking cost per child per day has been increased from 4 rupees Rs. 48 paise to 4 rupees 97 paise for students of class 1 to class 5. For students of class 6 to class 8, the cooking cost per child per day has been increased from 6 rupees 71 paise to 7 rupees 45 paise. According to HRD Ministry, the approval is also being given for providing midday meal during summer holidays of schools on which an additional expenditure of about 1600 crores will be made with the pain on a AI News Delhi. In Gujarat, the state government shifted around 5,000 stranded migrant workers to their native states of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh till today. Our correspondent reports that the government deployed state transport buses to ferry the migrant workers who were stranded in the state due to lockdown. A report. Thousands of migrant workers who are stuck in Surat and other cities following the nationwide lockdown are being sent to their native states by the government. Talking to AIR, Director Labor Bhavya Kumar said that migrant laborers, mostly from Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh, have been sent to their native places by state transport buses. Around 2,300 migrant laborers staying in various labor camps in the state were also sent to their native state Rajasthan by 84 buses. Similarly, the state government had deployed 100 buses to ferry migrant workers from Madhya Pradesh. He said all the laborers were screened before and social distancing was also maintained in the buses. Mr. Verma said that government is also planning to send stranded workers from Maharashtra. Earlier, Surat district collector had allowed a group of 150 migrant workers to travel to Odisha by private buses. Such permission was also given to a group of 36 migrant workers to travel to Siddharthpur in Uttar Pradesh. Aparna Khun, AI News, Ahmedabad. 
In Maharashtra, the number of coronavirus cases in Maharashtra climbed to 9,318 with reporting of 729 new patients during last 24 hours, while the death toll reached 400 with 31 people succumbing to the pandemic during the day. According to Health Department statement, so far 1,388 patients have been discharged from hospital post recovery. The number of active cases is 7,530. Till date 1,29,931 people are tested in the state. More from our correspondent. The coronavirus case count in Mumbai inched towards the 6,000 mark with the detection of 393 fresh infections while 25 more patients died. With this, the death toll in the city has reached to 244. However, COVID-19 doubling rate is 10 days in Mumbai, which is slightly higher than national average of 9.5. Mortality rate of 3.7 is better than state average and near the national average. On the other hand, Pune, Aurangabad, Yavatmal and Hingoli also saw considerable rise. rise in number of covid-19 cases some sections of the sprawling apmc market in navi mumbai which is the principal supplier of grains vegetables fruits and spices to mumbai were shut for 14 days after two covid-19 cases were detected in time 70 state transport buses left this noon from dhule for kota in rajasthan to bring back nearly 2000 students stranded there due to the lockdown madhuri pange air news mumbai In Madhya Pradesh total number of COVID-19 cases has gone up to more than 2300 in the state 110 patients have died so far while 357 patients have been cured and discharged from the various hospitals the condition of 1644 patients is stable while 54 patients are on ventilators Indore city has 1466 patients which is the highest number of covid-19 patients in the state the number of patients in the capital bhopal has risen to 428 while 119 cases reported in ujjain so far meanwhile madhya pradesh government has started special sanjeevni telehealth service for citizens in bhopal and indore from today with the cooperation of indus bank and its subordinate company bharat financial inclusion limited a report Sanjeevni Telehealth Service is being offered by Indus Bank under corporate social responsibility. Medical services will be provided by about 25 physicians from Apollo Telemedicine Network Hyderabad. Sanjeevni Telehealth Service is available 24 hours a day and will providing specialized services from experts in medicine, heart disease, pediatrics, gynecology, orthopedic and ENT. This service is for the patient of common diseases therefore covid-19 patients will not be treated by this service information and services related to covid-19 will be available on state government's helpline number 104 and 181 as before for all diseases other than corona patients can call the toll free number of sanjeevni and seek advice from the doctor the patient will have to give his name age description of the diseases and current symptoms on the basis of which the doctor will advise him and send the names of the medicines through mobile and by showing this prescription the patient will be able to buy the medicine from anywhere sanjeev sharma air news bhopal Delhi government has extended its list of cluster containment zones to 100 to contain the spread of COVID-19. Area around block D in Shaheen Bagh was the new addition to the list of containment zones in the national capital. Orders have been given to seal the demarcated zone under the operation shield of the Delhi government. A total of 206 new confirmed cases of novel coronavirus were reported in Delhi during the last 24 hours, taking the total number of cases to 3000 314 the state government has confirmed that 1078 patients have been cured and discharged so far and 54 deaths have been reported a total of 43370 tests have been conducted so far The government has called upon all the states and union territories to take urgent action so that blockades of trucks and lorries at interstate borders is cleared for smooth movement of essential goods. Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari held a meeting with the states and UT road transport ministers through video conference yesterday. He urged the ministers to intervene in such matters and ensure resolutions through the local and district administrations. The minister also underlined to follow the health advisories and other guidelines like proper distancing, wearing masks, use of sanitizers both by the driver and cleaners. 
You are listening to the Midday News on All India Radio, a reminder of the headlines before we move on. Doubling rate of COVID-19 cases improves to 10.9 days in the last three days. Recovery rate in the country improves to 23.3%. India to produce indigenous rapid testing kits by end of May. Over 400 lifeline Uran flights deliver essential and medical supplies across the country. Midday meals to be provided to students during summer vacations in the wake of situation arising out of COVID-19. Gujarat ships around 5,000 stranded migrant workers to their native states of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. Tripura developed mobile COVID-19 sample collection kiosk to collect samples without physical contact. And renowned actor Irfan Khan passes away battling a rare form of cancer. For quick news updates, round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. Four hundred three lifeline Uran flights have been operated to ensure delivery of essential and medical supplies across the country. Civil Aviation Ministry said lifeline Uran flights are being operated to transport essential medical cargo to remote parts of the country to support India's war against COVID-19. The Uran flights have covered distances of over three lakh ninety-seven thousand kilometers and delivered essential and medical supplies of over seven hundred forty-eight tons till yesterday. Private operators SpiceJet, Blue Dart, Indigo, and Vistara are operating cargo flights on a commercial basis. In international sectors, a cargo air bridge was established with East Asia for transportation of pharmaceuticals, medical equipment, and COVID-19 relief materials. The quantity of medical cargo brought in by Air India is 609 tons. In Tripura, Agartala Municipal Corporation with Agartala Smart City has designed a three-wheeler heavy-duty auto rickshaw into mobile COVID-19 sample collection kiosk where medical staffs can collect swab samples without coming in physical contact with the patients. Here is a report. Commissioner Agartala Municipal Corporation and CEO Smart City, Dr. Silas Kumar Yadav, told media that The kiosk has been converted from a three-wheeler heavy-duty auto rickshaw, taking a cue from Kerala model of testing where stationary testing kiosks are placed in front of hospitals. Dr. Silas said the glass assessment will ease the requirement of wearing personal protection equipment, PPE, while collecting swab samples from people. He claimed that this kind of mobile testing vehicle would be the first of its kind in the whole northeastern region. The Minister Bibulab Kumar did applaud the innovative step of AMC and Smart City and said it will ensure the safety of health workers in collecting testing samples. CM said that people now would not need to go to hospitals for sample testing and will also be able to conduct a large number of tests in a short period of time. Rina Nomaitem, AIR News, Agatala. In Mizoram, Anganwadi centers under Integrated Child Development Services Project have taken up an initiative of Mask for All campaign during the COVID-19 lockdown. So far, the East Lungdar ICDS project, having 60 Anganwadi centers, has distributed 1,400 masks made by Anganwadi workers, helpers and village-level task force volunteers. Officials said... Apart from distributing nutritional supplements, safety masks are being produced locally and beneficiaries are also volunteering to help in making these masks. They have also distributed these masks in Indomiyama border village, Sailulak. Officials further said workers of the North One Life Fell, Anganwadi have also distributed masks to Lungkol International Border. So far, the Anganwadi workers and volunteers have distributed 2,500 masks also at Thingsul Tliya village. In Kerala, the state government is making all necessary preparations to welcome Keralites from abroad as and when the centre allows the same. A report. Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayam informed that the state is fully prepared for receiving the non-resident care lights as soon as the central government allows special flights to bring them back. Department of Non-Resident Care Lights Affairs, NORCA, has opened online registration two days back for those who wish to return. Till now, over 2,76,000 care lights from 150 countries have registered on the NORCA website. 
a committee under the district collector with representatives from the airport authorities of india kerala police and health department would oversee the elaborate arrangements at the airports to receive them there will be doctors and paramedical staff at the airport for detailed checking of the arriving passengers the chief minister said that after initial screening those without symptoms would be sent to their homes for quarantine meanwhile the registration for care lights in other states and regions of the country will begin from today evening on the norca website www.registernorcaroutes.com meanwhile one 23 active covid-19 cases are there in kerala and 359 persons have recovered from the disease so far mayusha for ar news from tiruvananthapuram all india radio guwahati is broadcasting radio classes for 9th and 10th standard students in association with secondary education board of assam the r long program is being aired at 12:30 noon from monday to friday large number of students are also participating in the interactive program with experts online all radio stations in the brahmaputra valley is broadcasting this program all india radio station guwahati is also broadcasting online classes thrice in a week for third to seventh standard classes our correspondent reports that air guwahati is also broadcasting a special covid-19 fact check program pratirodh during the ongoing lockdown this program is also being aired across the state through fixed loudspeakers in our series experts speak on all india radio we bring you the views of some leading medical experts on covid-19 talking to air news dr uma kumar head of rheumatology department aims said that elderly people and persons suffering from other diseases like diabetes and hypertension are more prone to catch the coronavirus infection elderly population is more at risk because their immune system is actually on a decline we call it immunosenescence that is also getting old so it's not that effective as it is in an young in an adult so therefore elderly population definitely is at increased risk of uh, getting this infection Dr Naresh Gupta of Lok Nayak Jay Prakash Hospital Delhi said that in most of the cases the covid-19 infections are self-limiting and very few patients required admission in hospitals कॉमन कोल्ड और कोरोना वायरस इन्फेक्शन दोनों की दोनों आम तौर पे अपने आप ही सेटल कर जाते हैं 80 प्रतिशत में तो ऐसी भी तकलीफ नहीं करते हैं या इतनी हल्की करते हैं कि लोग घर पे ही ठीक हो जाते हैं 10 15 15 परसेंट में उनको अस्पताल जाके कुछ दवाई दी जाती है और वो सेटल हो जाते हैं 5 परसेंट या उससे कम वाले हैं जो की दाखिल होना पड़ता है तो फर्क आप नहीं कर पाएंगे सेटल आप हो जाएंगे लेकिन इसका बचाव अपने लिए जिससे की हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन की नौबत न आए और उससे ज्यादा दूसरों को ना लगे क्योंकि ये जरूरी नहीं की किसी इंसान को अगर हल्के रूप में कोरोना वायरस हुआ है तो जिससे उस इंसान को लगेगा वो भी हल्का ही होगा वो इतना तीजा तीखा हो सकता है कि वो जानलेवा भी हो सकता है तो वो जानना जरूरी है द न्यू सर्विसेज डिविजन ऑफ ऑल इंडिया रेडियो इन इट्स बायोलिंगुअल लाइव फोन इन प्रोग्राम टुडे विल ब्रिंग यू अ स्पेशल डिस्कशन प्रोग्राम ऑन कोविड-19 डॉक्टर एन पी सिंह सीनियर फिजिशियन विल पार्टिसिपेट इन दिस डिस्कशन Listeners can ask questions from the experts on toll-free telephone number one eight double zero double one five seven six seven. You can also ask questions on the telephone number zero double one two double three one double four double four and post queries on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts by hashtag Ask AIR. This can be heard tonight on FM Gold Channel and additional frequencies from nine twenty five PM onwards. This program will also be available on our website newsonair.com and on our YouTube channel News on AIR Official. You can also follow us on News on AIR app for updates. With the spreading pandemic COVID-19, Ministry of Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Unani, Siddha and Homeopathy Ayush has come up with various measures to provide herbal drinks to strengthen the immunity in people. to help them fight the viral infection under its directives ayush ministry has instructed officials of saranda forest division in west singhum district of jharkhand a house to many medical plants to come up with novel ideas from the long practiced traditional herbal treatments the department has come up with immunity booster herbal drinks made from bark of arjun trees tulsi leaves guava leaves and other immune building herbs to be consumed by our frontline warriors rajnish kumar divisional forest officer saranda division said that such drinks will help everyone restore their immune system 
यह बूस्टर प्राइमरी तौर से उन लोग को दिया जाएगा जो फ्रंट लाइन पे काम करते हैं जैसे पुलिसकर्मी स्वास्थ्यकर्मी जिनमें ज्यादा खतरा रहता है इसका पेंडेमिक का संक्रमण होने का तो इसके लिए अनुरोध होगा कि इस टाइप के हर्बल पे पदार्थ को उपयोग करके अपना इम्यूनिटी पावर बढ़ाया जाए The immunity booster drinks are prepared to increase the general health of all people as well. The traditional practice of preparing herbal drinks from medicinal plants is turning out to be a popular tool in increasing the immunity of the human body during the corona pandemic time. Ministry of Ayush in its important directives have instructed the forest officials of Saranda Forest Division to prepare such drinks. Saranda Forest has been house to several medicinal plants and the immunity booster drink prepared by the team comes from the same. The idea is being taken from Kilimili, a word used in local language for a traditional tribal herbal medicine house this is shilpi for all india radio news ranchi union minister for human resource development ramesh pokhrial nishank has appealed the states to start the evaluation process for board exam answer sheets mr nishank said this while interacting with education ministers and education secretaries of all the states through video conferencing yesterday the hrd minister also asked the states to facilitate central board of secondary education to evaluate answer sheets of the students in the respective states mr nishank said that whole efforts should be made that our 33 crore students do not face any difficulty and can continue their education he said towards this various efforts are being made to strengthen the online education platforms like diksha swayam swayam prabha and e patshala the minister also said that apart from this alternative academic calendar has also been released by ncert to which states can adopt according to their local situation Union Minister for Food Processing Industries Har Simrat Kaur Badal today chaired a video conference with Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry FICI members to discuss the current outlook of food processing industry and requirements of the industry post lockdown scenario Ms Badal cited the importance of the industry to revive its operations at full capacity without compromising the measures for containment of spread of COVID-19 Chief Economic Adviser Dr Subramanian Krishnamurthy has said that relaxations in lockdown will help in quick economic recovery. He was sharing his views at a round table discussion in the capital on COVID-19 India's road ahead. Mr Krishnamurthy said that in these times both the supply and demand side must be taken care of. The main impact of this is first on the demand side and then you know when companies let's say are not able to take care of their costs that may actually lead to supply side impacts so the prescription therefore has to be to work on both the demand side and the supply side uh, on the supply side it is important to take care of the working capital requirements of firms because uh, for them you know especially for the small and medium enterprises while their their costs you know many of their fixed costs continued revenues were not as much and therefore you know expanding working capital facilities enables them to actually stay alive Mr Suresh and Patel today took oath as the vigilance commissioner the oath was administered by central vigilance commissioner Sanjay Kothari by video conferencing in New Delhi Renowned actor Irfan Khan passed away in a Mumbai hospital this morning losing his battle with a rare form of cancer he was 54 the Makbool actor who was diagnosed with neuroendocrine tumor in 2018 lost his mother in Jaipur just four days ago He was admitted to the intensive care unit of the Kokila Ben Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital with a colon infection. Irfan Khan made his Bollywood debut with Meera Nair Salam Bombay in 1988. Later, he did many films but was noticed with films like Madbool, Life in a Metro, Pansing Thomar and Piku. He has also been associated with many international films like Slumdog Millionaire, A Mighty Heart, Jurassic World and The Amazing Spider-Man. His best though is Ang Lee's Life of Pi, which was a huge commercial success. Many dignitaries including Amitabh Bachchan, Lata Mangeshkar, Shujit Sarkar, Supriya Sule had paid tribute to the actor. Information and Broadcasting Minister Prakash Javrekar has expressed grief on the demise of actor Irfan Khan. The portal of Central Himalayan Shrine of Kedarnath Dham in Uttarakhand opened this morning after the winter break. The portals were thrown open amid chanting of Vedic mantras and performance of necessary rituals. And now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again. 
Doubling rate of COVID-19 cases improves to 10.9 days in the last three days. Recovery rate in the country improves to 23.3%. India to produce indigenous rapid testing kits by end of May. Over 400 lifeline Udan flights deliver essential and medical supplies across the country. Midday meals to be provided to students during summer vacations in the wake of situation arising out of COVID-19. Gujarat shifts around 5,000 stranded migrant workers to their native states of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. Tripura develops mobile COVID-19 sample collection kiosk to collect samples without physical contact. And with that, we end the Midday News.